Well, welcome to the underground. It is um, one of these spaces that I just can't wait to tell you all about. And I know that a lot of other people would love to share their stories about what has been going on down in this space. We decided to develop this space. Um, it was discovered by um, residents who knew it was here. It was a disused underground car park. So we decided, a group of us, residents and a couple of agency workers, to have a look. We were blown away by the, the gorgeous concrete bunker type space. It's a 200 car space car park, so it's huge decided that we would maybe explore the opportunity to work with community and to develop the space into, we weren't sure then, but into something arts and cultural. I'm a hip hop artist and we've been putting on uh, hip hop musicals. Uh, last year was called The Change and it was a revolutionary hip hop theatre piece involving a cross section of the community here on the estate. As a resident of the Collingwood estate, it enables me to have access to this amazing space where we can create and perform and do things that wouldn't normally um, be able to do in, in other spaces and a place where we can bring a lot of people together to create some magic that is only ever seen in the underground. We, we chose to use the space down here because, because we felt that it was an edgy space where we could come and rehearse and be absorbed by the space itself uh, in order to create the performance. One of the highlights that we've had down here um, just recently has been working very closely in the West Papua community on community theatre. That particular production brought together all age groups, it brought together all different kinds of art, art genres. Well, Harvest Festival happens every year in the parklands of the housing estate, but that day we were quite concerned about the safety of everyone because of the storm uh, warnings. So we had to relocate the whole festival to the underground. And uh, it was a great move because it was showcasing the underground and a lot of residents were quite surprised of the space they have available for use. Yeah, it was kind of for them find, uh, finding a gem in their own neighbourhood. The roller disco uh, embraces all age groups um, because it, it's not only about roller disco, it's about bringing community together and sharing in music and, and sharing in the joy that that particular activity brings. But there's also the classical music concerts that are held down here. What a magical space to be able to enjoy that, that genre as well. We have had choir performances down here, which are amazing because the acoustics in here are quite magical. When you hear um, an instrument or a voice in here, it's kind of like you're inside the body of that singer or that instrument. It just takes it and kind of magnifies it and it's a beautiful place to actually sing. It's also a beautiful place to listen. We have also an artist in residence program that um, the space has allowed us to offer those particular residents the opportunity to journey their art. So I found this place, a place that I've been searching for when I stand at the traffic light, where do I go from here? I was given a pair of hands. So here I am, I'm painting, being contented. And I find creative is not just the painting, it's no longer about painting, it's about what I have inside that I had a chance to explore into making clothes, into making model, and have the things that I have taught and put it out there. And this space allowed me to do that. So I've been searching for a private studio to do my own work and to also give the opportunity for others that are interested in learning ceramics. I've had the studio for six months 
And within that time, I've created pieces for local communities and also for fundraising events. Creativity unrestrained by any institution, freedom unwritten in any constitution, law unto itself beyond any jurisdiction, coming at you like a spiritual kind of vision. It's the chaos of life that keeps my heart beating, the coincidence of this accidental meeting. The beauty of a desert sunset fleeting, the warmth that a campfire gives in its greeting. The love for my babies that makes my heart bigger, the feeling of water with my feet in the river, how clarity can destroy the procrastination of a dither, how a word can remove a finger from the trigger. <laughs> Thank you.